Day or night, it's Hess Night. Welcome back to the Vivzy Pop Variety Fact Pack. I didn't think I was going to be making any more of these. Beyond the preseason character specific videos, which I still do want to do. Onto my rules. No disclaimer anymore, as the series is now out and Viv has a pretty good idea of what the rules of this world is. So the rules. I will only be including things Viv herself states or agrees with. Also, I tend to focus on world building and character questions rather than things like what's your favorite song. So don't expect stuff like this to be in here. I will link any art I myself didn't make and that is not from the series or the official pages. And that will be in the description below along with the videos if publicly available and my fact sheet. I will be trying to cover most of the official Q&As that have come out so far. This includes the early access Q&A, the January stream, the February stream, and Monarch stream. Uh, this script was originally written before a bunch of the cons came out, so I will not be including those until next time. If I missed a fact on any of these videos, or there's been an interview, a con panel with relevant information, or some other source like Twitter, please let me know in the comments or on my Twitter, Twitter, which will also be linked, and I will shout you out in the next video. We're gonna start with the early access Q and A. Let me start by saying I paid for early access, and there was a lot of questions answered, so this barely covers the Q and A. And spend a horse slash Amazon. If you want me to remove this section from a video, message me on Twitter, and I will happily edit this out. Character questions start with Lucifer. Lucifer is stated to be a ringleader. And the other sins are stated to be like circus acts. Perhaps this is why the layers of hell are referred to as rings. We also learn he was meant to look more like a pristine doll, looks-wise. In contrast, Charlie is meant to be more of a vaudevillian doll. Here we learn Satan is confirmed to be a different entity, and his form is more goat-like. Then we get some more general stuff for sinners, like the fact if they want to stay dead and not respond, they need an angelic weapon. This is also where we learn sinners literally pull themselves back together and that their forms are based on how they live. Alistair is usually a more popular character in these things, but maybe it's because they made sure to pick a variety of questions. We only get the reveal that Viv kind of wants to make a joke about whether or not Alistair has a tail into a running joke. Viv then confirms the V's will be a larger part of season two. Rosie is revealed to be the mom friend here. She loves when friends come to her with problems she can fix. When asked who'd she want to make a spinoff of, Viv said the V's would make for a hilarious Team Rocket-esque spinoff. She also confirms that the first episode spiritually continues on from the pilot. Next, we're doing the Q&A that happened in January, so it was just before the final. We start again with a Lucifer fact. His hat is 100% his choice because he is short. Alistair and Nifty are said to have a special bond. Then we get a few heights for some of the characters. Charlie is a little over six foot, and Angel and Val are both at least eight feet tall. When asked Alistair's alignment, Viv says from what she personally understands, Alistair's chaotic neutral. Next, we have the live stream that happened in February that was post-finale. This time, we start with Angel Dust. Angel's birthday is April 1st. Alistair is asexual, woo, but doesn't actively know what that is is. Viv seemingly agreed that Al is a, at least Arrow Ace coded because Amir mentioned something about him being Arrow Ace and Viv nods on the side. Then we get some insight to name inspirations for some of the characters. Along with being a drug name, Angel Dust was chosen because it sounded like a fun porn stage name and drag stage name for him. Alistair's name was actually picked randomly at the time she chose it, but she does make mention to the fact that there are some demons in some cultures named Alistair. Lute's name start as a placeholder, being short for lieutenant in production. Viv admits she doesn't actually know if lieutenant is second in command in real life, but in the angelic army, it's the second in command. Valentino got his name from Viv's cat because she liked it a lot. <laughs> Charlie's name is just a name Viv has always liked for girls, which I find cute because I do a similar thing. I will name characters after names I just like for certain genders. For me, it's like I would name a boy character Xavier or Oliver. Alistair is charmed by Nifty, and Nifty is fond of Alistair. Fun, non-character, non-world building thing I made note of was Viv confirming there are more solos next season. 
All right, we're on to a streak of the V's being spotlift. Vox and Val aren't dating. It's more of an off again, on again with immense sexual tension. Viv mentions wanting to get more into it next season and confirms the V's will be a bigger part of next season. Velvet's dynamic with the other V's fits both the gay dads and daughter vibe and the chaotic friend slash third wheel dynamic. It's also stated Vox and Val value Velvet a lot. She is the brains and the glue that keeps the trio together. I guess she wasn't joking and respectless when she said she was the backbone of the V's. Viv also confirms more new characters coming to season two, as well as everyone that was present in the streams, characters would be returning. So you had Angel Dust's voice actor, Charlie's, Alistair's, Lutz, Valentino. I think those five were there. There might have been more people there, but those are the five I remember. She confirmed all of those characters would be in season two as well. We go back to starting with Lucifer questions. He's just a mishmash of things Viv liked. A zany, bright, silly dad character. She also joked while he fits the Tumblr sexyman type, it's only because he's similar to Jack Skellington. In fact, she jokes, Alistair, Vox, and Lucifer are just different flavors of Jack Skellington. Sir Pentius was chosen to die and get redeemed as he was the easiest character to kill without affecting the story of later seasons. And the team really wanted to show redemption was possible in season one. And I believe this was a good idea in case they only got one season. When they wrote season one, they did not know they would get greenlit for season two before it would even come out. Pentius was also selected because he was innocent with redeeming qualities. However, season two, it will be explored what got Sir Pentius into hell. Viv again states why Pentius was chosen as the one who died as he was insanely lonely and happy to have friends for once and his loss would be felt, specifically noting that his absence would be felt. Kitty, the Fizzbot, was custom made for Valentino, and Viv refers to Kitty as Valentino's assistant. Viv takes time to point out if dialogue seems like it's targeted at old jokes or comments, there's a chance it is. While the pilot is canon, it does contain some non-canon elements, Otherwise, it holds up really well. Speaking of the pilot, Vaggie's been an angel since the pilot. She also points out that some of the further out fan theories are correct. However, don't go solely based off her Twitter likes for spoilers, because she admits liking things to fuck with the fandom occasionally. Don't expect fan art to change Viv's mind either, as the story is pretty much set in stone with what she wants, such as the V's being a bigger part of season two, especially Vok, who will be heavily featured as an antagonist. So I'm not sure how often this series will update, as it's dependent on Q&A panels, streams, interviews. Again, if I missed anything or there are facts on websites I missed, please link them below or message me on Twitter. I'll probably also start doing some theory videos on Haspen Hotel, I like to use them to figure out different formats. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Have a wonderful day.